please accept my apology because I come back from Korea last Saturday. Still, I have a uh, jet lag. Jet lag makes me kind of crazy. <laughs> and I put it on my head because I don't want to catch cold. Well, I'm very happy to be here with you today to speak how to cultivate the inner peace by meditation according to the practice of Zen Buddhism. As a Buddhist monk, my concern extends to all members of the human family and indeed to all sentient beings who suffer. I believe all suffering is caused by ignorance. People inflict pain of others in the selfish pursuit of their own happiness and satisfaction. We humans are social beings. We come into this world as the result of others' actions. We survive here depending on others, whether we like it or not. There is a hardly a moment of our life scene which we do not benefit from others' activities. For this reason, it is hardly a serious link uh, in most our happiness arises in the context of our relationship with others. I believe all Buddhisms pursue the goals that of cultivating human goodness and bring happiness to all human beings though it means might appear different. The goals are the same. The Zen Buddhism, Zen means peace. Zen meditation is delightful living. I joined delight, coming in a uh, uh, line with this life, and that is truly living. You should become a, a living person, not just uh, taking it free and easy. Live this life without thinking, that is my thinking. This meditation is not part of some formula or method. Just do it there. Whether or not it is a good place or time, then you become wide and experience emptiness. Therefore, you are a delightful person and understand your life. Delightful is your living meditation and understanding in three realms world. The creature world, the world then is enlightenment for all creatures originally. Mind is always bright light and clear without dying. That bright and clear mind is not clarified and clean.
but is originally bright and clear. That is complete enlightenment. When we practice and clean, this means mind that you understood originally. Emptying your ideas displays that you are already empty and clear. It does not come to come so easily. So you have to practice little by little, gradually. Our practice is not to clean the mind, but to cut off thinking and stay away from ideas. So it is that you always practice meditation so that original nature of mind can rightly appear anywhere and any time. Forget the mind and cut off thinking. Just sit exactly in the Buddha state. Your cushion is a truly delightful See, You know this well. Though you are vain to talk a lot, making disputes over right and wrong, even if dispute occurs to reason, loving mind and hate mind, or like and dislike mind disappear if you keep away restless emotions. When you understand it is like water, before water flows, before rivers, ocean, or the formation of cloud, the substance of space appears if you know the state before. You sit on the cushion with this image, and it is like comparing a person who is in a drunken world and talking about wrong and right. When you are Buddha, we are up your bed, though. Some ear, whether hanging down, weeping below. Practicing meditation to attain enlightenment will not work if you expect enlightenment. Then notion appears, but it has every wrong view. Don't leave anything, cut off and extract with the wisdom knife. Then before the sunrise appears, darkness brightly. I pray for all of you, both our Tibetan temple and our Dharma friends, that together we will succeed in building a better world through Zen meditation and wisdom and love. And that in doing so, we may reduce the pain and suffering of all sentient beings. Thank you.